Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can spell check your document in Canva. So I've just got a really simple document up here and it's made up from three different text boxes. So on the first text box here, you can see I've deliberately put in some misspelled words. And when you misspell a word, let's say I go down to this word at the bottom here, reading, if I just click my cursor inside and then I begin to type to misspell a word, you can see sometimes you'll get the spell check immediately and you can accept that if you want to by pressing the return key or clicking on this icon here. When I deselect my misspelled word, it will initially come up with a red dotted line underneath. But as I navigate round my Canva document, you can see that red line does disappear. So often you therefore won't be able to see your misspelled words if you don't correct them immediately. So in this top text box, I've got three misspelled words and they're all at the beginning of the sentences. And I've just added a series of O's on the end of those words, just so you know which words have been changed or altered. If you select the text box, go to magic write and go down to fix spelling. Once you've done that, you can see that all my misspelled words have been corrected. You'll have to do that with the second box. And unfortunately, you cannot select the two boxes and do a spell check. If you try and do that, this is what happens. Go down to Magic Write, Fix Spelling. Canva will give you a completely new text box with all of your text in it. And it will correct it, but it will also join it together. Now, if you want to do that, that's absolutely fine. But if you don't, then you just have to go through each text box individually, go to Magic Write and click Fix Spelling. Once you've done that and you're happy with your document, just click on Share. Then you can go down to Download. And then in your file types, you've got a number of different files that you can save your document as. Generally, if it's a document, you'd go for a PDF. But if you don't want a PDF, you can always save it as a JPEG. Once you're happy with that, you can simply click download and there you can see it's downloaded. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.